I'm Sudhir Nagarkar. I am the hardware account executive based here in San Jose. And I'm uh, very excited to be here with uh, Dheeraj Goswami, our GM and corporate VP of Hardware uh, System Certification Group. And I want to discuss with him a few things that have been really exciting in the recent past. So Dheeraj, um, you know, first of all, congratulations on another phenomenal quarter with, with hardware. Thank and you. I just wanted to you know, talk to you briefly about, you know, what is the secret of the, the success, especially with the launch of uh, the Dynamic Duo? Well, uh, it's no secret. And when you have to execute a, a project like Peridium G2, Proteum X2, and Helium, our virtual, new virtual uh, system, you need a detailed planning. And after the detailed planning, it's important to bring together our software team, our hardware team, our firmware team together into one table. And then it's also important we understand the market requirement. And we need to make sure we incorporate our market requirements into our product. Mm -hmm. And then it's one team philosophy. And make sure we execute and in lockstep. That is key for the success of the product. So that way, on a daily basis, the teams are in sync and continue to execute. And the next important thing is our customers. Right. When you develop the Dynamic Duo, Palladium Proteum Dynamic Duo, it's important we have the partnership and we are very, very fortunate to have AMD, NVIDIA, and many hyperscalers right, to work with us before releasing all these products and use our system to accelerate their verification for their complex SOCs. And in the process, we have significantly refined our product. And then when we released it, we have seen the significant ramp of this product, which we have not seen before. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic, it's fantastic. You know, that, that takes me to another question I wanted to ask you. You know, hardware, we, we have done phenomenally well, but with you taking over the leadership of the, the business unit, you know, the, the whole R&D team is executing even better than before. What have you done uh, to, to make that happen, Diraj? Yeah, uh, at core, I'm an engineer, right? So as an engineer, uh, one thing is very important to me is back to basic. When you design a system, what are the basic things of the system? And those things we want to flawlessly execute, okay? And the second thing is like, it's a one team culture. So I would like to see one plus one, not two, one plus one equal to three. So the team, individuals comes together and they work like one team, okay? And the next thing is like, we have been doing something like say last one decade, but if something we got to improve, if that need changes, we can't be afraid, right? We have to make the changes, we embrace the change, and then we bring in disruptive innovations. Right? So Dheeraj, uh, tell me, you know, as, as the general manager and uh, corporate VP of the Harvard Business Unit, what are some of the exciting and innovative products you're, you're currently working on that's gonna excite our, our customers? Well, uh, in our business unit, we have the full flow. Mm -hmm. and, and full flow means we have Palladium, which is Z2, which is our emulation system. We have Proteum X2, which is our prototyping engine. And we have the Helium, which is our virtual engine. So one thing we are continuously working is seamlessly working all the systems together. That means when someone is bringing up a design in Palladium Z2, the user can have a seamless transition to Proteum X2. 
in that process, user has to only think about like FPGA compile, but other than that, everything is like congruent, right? Yeah. Meaning that compiler front end is the same, right. then back end runtime is the same, and we use same PCIe and the IB infrastructure going from the hardware system to the workstation. And if you look at the Helium, what we have done, we have used a similar runtime in infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And suppose you are executing instructions in your soft model inside Helium, and at some point of time, you want to stop and you want to go to the hardware system. It's very seamless. And it's possible because of the same compile and runtime infrastructure, and its models are congruent. So as a result, you can take a snapshot from Helium and go to Palladium. And we call this things gearship. Same thing, you can do it for Proteum as well, yeah. right? Palladium, uh, uh, Helium to Proteum. Right. You can do a gearship. Okay. And this has been very, very popular. And our customer base liked it so much, right? And we have applied congruency mm -hmm. across our protocol system also. As you know, we are very, very strong in our speed bridge technology, right? That's right. And we have enhanced our virtual bridge infrastructure, right? And then we have congruency between virtual bridge and the speed bridge, right? Yeah. If somebody is using, already using speed bridge, just by flipping the switch, it, they can use virtual bridge infrastructure. Yeah. And then they can do mis, mix and match, That's right. right? And we have done fundamental innovations in this technology, right? To be the far ahead in the marketplace. Wow, that was, there was a lot of information, uh, Diraj, uh, that was really exciting. Thank you very much for your time today. And I am really looking forward to the exciting times that's ahead of us and you know, looking forward to seeing all the growth in, in uh, uh, the hardware space. Thank you very much again. Thank you.